Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I truly hope you are doing well. I have a great video planned for you today and we are going to be taking another walk down memory lane with some vintage magazines. So I'm really excited to show these to you. These are from the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. I don't know that we will get through all of them, but I'm going to pick out a couple of highlights for you um, from a few of them, and we will walk through them together. In the last couple of videos, I talked a little bit about self-care, taking care of our needs in this hustle, bustle world. That's hard to do sometimes. I know it. And we have to stop and slow down and really make a mindful effort at caring for ourselves. For me, one of those things is taking a nap. Um, I wish I could have back every nap time I ever had as a child that I rebelled against. And um, part of taking a nap and getting some good sleep is having a proper pillow. I'm very proud to have Dorilla Pillow as the sponsor for my channel today. I use and love this Dorilla pillow, and I'm going to tell you more about it. As you can see with my regular pillow, there is no lasting neck support, and when I turn to the side, I can't breathe, and being on my side is my favorite position. So with the Dorilla pillow, as you can see here, my head is supported, my neck is how it should be, and even turning onto my stomach, my head goes right into that little divot. Again, on my back, it follows the natural curvature of my spine and offers the right amount of support for a fantastic night's sleep. The Dorilla Pillow helps relieve pain from muscle stress, muscle aches, even headaches, and helps with snoring if that's an issue by following the spine's natural curvature. The pillow doesn't overheat and stays cool, and it's chemical free, so there are no chances of allergic reactions. Now, with the special link that I'm providing you in the pinned comment as well as in the video description, there is a limited time offer for a 70% discount on a Dorilla pillow. This pillow comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. The Dorilla pillow, with its NASA-inspired memory foam, adjusts to your shape and weight, and it is suitable for all ages. It makes a great gift, and if I were you, I would get two if you sleep with someone else, because it's very likely that your pillow will end up on their side. So you may as well get two right out of the gate. Thank you again to Dorilla for 
sponsoring my video and supporting my channel and helping with self-care and providing us with a fantastic deal for an amazing pillow. Again, click on the link in the description that I'm providing you for a 70% limited time discount. And remember, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee. So click on that link and use it. I love this pillow and it even goes great with traveling. When we go on road trips, I'm taking this with me. So today's video is, I think, going to be pretty interesting. And as always, you can just listen to the sound of my voice and tune out, or you can look at the content. So, a couple weeks ago, <clears throat> my husband was on a trip. Where was he? Where did he go? Where did he go? I can't remember. Ah, somewhere in Southern California. And he was out at a restaurant. He had some lunch. And he went out for a walk and found an antique store. And he called me and said, Hey, Annie, I see some magazines. Do you want me to buy them for you? And I asked to describe them to me, and he did. Oh my gosh, wait till you see these. We have a life. From December of 1936, 10 cents. That's not what he paid. He paid close $9. And then we have a life from March 9th of 1942. And then there is September 17th. seen the laugh-in. That was oh, really stupid, funny jokes. You know, it was just a comedy act and Goldie Hawn got her start there and several other people did. So I wanted to kind of flip through some of these and we all have, let's see, my 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And particularly I like the ads because that really shows what America, you know, was up to at that time in that particular decade. So I'm not going to focus on the stories so much. I'll show you the headlines, but we're not going to go through the stories. We're just going to flip through and take a peek at each decade. Now, I have not looked at these, so when I see these Look, they're still in there. I have not unsealed them. So it'll be my raw reaction and seeing it just as you are for the first time. Now, I have to say he got some other magazines as well and I'll show you those a different time because it's kind of a different genre but still from decades ago. I was recently interviewed by a magazine in the UK called the Grub Street Journal and it is being relaunched and there's an article in there about ASMR and what I do with 
magazines. It's a magazine about magazines. And I was asked what I like about magazines, what magazines I still take today and whatnot. And the thing I love is the tactile feel of paper, you know, turning pages, touching them. I like the fact that, you know, in comparing it to, say, looking, reading something on the screen, my eyes, my brain gets screen fatigued, whereas with paper, I can flip through, my eyes can land wherever they will, and, you know, I can dog ear pages, which I won't do in these magazines, but I do in other magazines. I can rip a page out and use it later for a recipe or something like that. And I don't know, I just, there's something comforting about the real deal. I can loan it to someone, I can take it somewhere on vacation and, um, you know, look at it by the pool. Whereas with my screen, I've had all of the various reading apps and I just don't take to them as well as I do the paper, the magazine, and uh, so that, I just love magazines. And I love them, yes, the internet and, you know, looking at something, you know, on a screen has its place for immediacy, I would say, but overall, I just adore having a magazine to flip through. So, so, let's get started and get the camera looking down and I will show you these amazing historical magazines and we can walk through them together. So here are the four magazines that I will get through, and here's the cover for this one. And when I'm done here, I'm going to put the covers back on each of these to protect them. So I will put these aside right now, right over here. And So it was 10 cents and on the cover they have the Archbishop of Canterbury. So I will try to turn the pages correctly from the top right if I can. Sometimes I can. Okay, so R first. Time and Christmas wait for no man. And this is an ad about Hamilton watches. So, interesting. The China Clipper, this is called. And aviators, like railroad men, prefer Hamilton watches. I'll have to ask my husband about that if he knows this watch. Okay, colds. Oh my goodness, has this been the season of colds? For me it has. So, colds <laughs> go quicker when you do these two things. Cleanse the intestinal tract and help nature combat acidity. Who knew? So with sal hepa hepatica, okay, so sal hepatica does both. Hmm, interesting. It is a mineral salt laxative, and it cleanses the intestines quickly. Holy Lord. In other words, be near a bathroom. Okay. And it's also an antacid, anti-acid. That's interesting. I've never heard of those two things in relation to a cold. Have you? Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh, I can't, I, this is, they're testing shutter speeds by uh, filming a cockfight. I can't, I can't, I don't even want to give that page any more time. That's disgusting, but then again, it's the 1930s, and so I'm, I am judging it. But I can't put today's values back on those times, so I'm not going to try to, other than just not give any attention to it. So, oh, it's off. So, she showed women how to go smiling through. What is this? One woman tells another how to go smiling through with Lydia E. Pinkham's vegetable compound. What is it, though? It offers <laughs> benefits to woman, womankind. Okay, for those were the days when women were not the equal of men, when many thought that the use of ether was sinful, when the idea of relieving the suffering of women was dismissed with the statement, women were meant to suffer. Holy cow. So, okay, so Lydia Pinkham knew the effectiveness of her compound. Okay, so I think this is about monthly pain, cramps, whatever. Yep. Yep, that's what it is. It's some sort of pain relief. Okay. For three generations, one woman has told another how to go smiling through. Mm -hmm. It helps, so this vegetable compound helps nature tone up the system, lessening discomfort, and which must be endured, especially during the three ordeals of woman. One, passing from girlhood into womanhood. Two, preparing for motherhood, and three, approaching middle age. Hmm. I'd love to know what was in this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. Okay. Hennessy cognac, of course. All right. These are just little letters and notes to the editors of Life magazine. Okay, Calamity Jane. Okay, so this is an advertisement for The Plainsman, which was a movie. Okay. And this article about President Roosevelt, how he wins a continent but loses a friend. Hmm. I think it's interesting how they always showed Roosevelt, President Roosevelt, seated because, you know, he had uh, a lot of complications from polio, and so standing was not only difficult, but sometimes impossible and painful for him. Okay, Great Lake Freighters. Forest fires. Okay, and so I guess this is just kind of like news on the American, you know, uh, it says um, the American news front. So, interesting. Slides, strikes, hmm, car accidents, new archbishops. Be today. Yes, nuns at play. <laughs> okay, nuns at play. Oh, an airplane that land in a tree. The New York six day bicycle race. Oh, my goodness, race. Look at that crash. Liniment rubs and recovering. Um, sounds like today's, you know, Tour de France. Q 
King Ranch in Texas. Yeah, wow. I didn't realize it went back this far. Fence Riders of the King Ranch. Dress designer, Nettie Rosenstein, or Rosenstein. I'm not sure how she pronounces it. Interesting, I hadn't heard of her. Nice classic suit. Oh my goodness. What is that? It's a teacup. Oh, it's an... Um, <laughs> made by Mary Oppenheim, a 20-year-old German girl. She used brown rabbit fur, and so this is all made out of rabbit fur. Okay, modern art. Dolly, we've seen that. Very popular. Yes, this is a um, the story of Lost Horizon. Interesting. Yeah, so I guess it's a movie about a plane that went down in um, Tibet. Horizon. Okay. Mrs. Simpson of Blue Ridge Summit meets the British Constitution on her way to Windsor Castle. Whoa. That's the whole, you know, um, Edward and Mrs. Simpson, you know, the woman he loved. Wow, that will be... I'm going to read these, definitely. Wow, so it just shows her. Out and about. Interesting. Okay. Depressed areas of England. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh. Interesting how they have something so sad, you know, a beautiful little child who is clearly going without, and then they have high fashion, a fur. You know, it, I mean, what a contradiction in pages. And then <laughs> $200,000, excuse me, $2 million in gold. Whew, I think I'd love to have one of those bars. A melter's face, a gold melter's face. Overseas, England, some pictures from England, India, there's Gandhi, wow, here, Mussolini, oh my goodness, so remember, this is what, 1936, so here's Mussolini fencing with a a fascist, it's at the Fascist Physical Culture Academy. And the academy director, Rodolfo, took the a cadet's place and fought a prudent tie with Il Duce, 
Mussolini. Wow. The French at a funeral. Wow. It was... Hmm. Greeks at a funeral. Wow, look at that beautiful procession. Greek Orthodox Church. Um, the late King Constantine, Artino. The Spaniards at a funeral. And it was Derudi. Okay, going into Parliament a bit. We're just gonna go. Oh, look at that. Wow, in the House of Lords. Isn't that beautiful? And it looks so much the same even now. Should King Edward marry, his queen will occupy a second throne, an inch lower than his, on the days behind him. Wow. Well, we know what happened there. Okay, there's some uh, high kicks. And so here are pictures of Mount Mystery. You know, I like that we're seeing some diversity. You know, this is uh, the Savoy Ballroom in Harlem. And the current favor at the Savoy is the Lindy Hop. These single girls on pleasure bent at the Savoy may dress as they please and make friends with whom they choose. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a dance contest, the Lindy Hop. That is so cool. Look at them. I love this. And then whiskey on the back end. And look at this. Beech nut spearmint gum and beech nut peppermint gum. I remember beech nut in San Jose. Wait, there was a beech nut plant right across the street from it. It was called Happy Hollow. So if you're from the San Jose area of California, do you remember Happy Hollow? <laughs> Beach nut was right across the street from that. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're going to go from 1936 to 1942. And I am not going to focus on war things. I'm just not. That's easy enough to do. Interesting. Um, Ten cents. And they offer the yearly subscription for four dollars and fifty cents. Pancakes, first ad, and then toothpaste. I've never heard of this Epana toothpaste by Bristol Myers. Vitalis. <laughs> You'll succeed faster if your appearance wins liking and respect. Okay, and now we're getting to Chevrolet's truck con conservation plan. Hmm. And this is Paramount Star Parade. What is this? They got me with my back to the wall, says Paulette Goddard. And this is... Okay, it's about a movie, I guess. The Lady Has Plans, the name of the movie. Salute 
to a car with brand new tires. More ads now. So, Listerine toothpaste. Oh my god, it's an antiseptic and toothpaste. Whew. So, it protects against the double O. Offensive breath and offensive looking teeth. And then whiskey and after dinner mints. Okay. I love this. Okay, so this is dedicated to physicians, nurses, and hospitals of America. If you're going to go visit a, a mom, a brand new mother, don't sit on the mother's bed. Don't lay clothing on it. Don't touch the bedclothes. And don't visit the mother if you have a cold or any other illness. And do not bring children. Oh, wow. Because they're trying to, you know, keep her and her surroundings healthy. Wow, we. They're really trying to, they, they talk about sterile, you know, being, wearing sterile caps, gowns, and masks, um, disinfecting their hands. So, um, helping to protect against harmful germs, um, impetigo, pustular rashes, diaper rashes, excoriated buttocks, chafing, and dryness of skin. That's really nice. Don't bring a cold or anything around a new mom. Okay, photographers at Cypress Gardens in Winter Haven, Florida. Just in case Joe doesn't know, it cost his country $211 to equip him. We ought to know. Um, they're outfitting Americans with electric power. So, interesting. Okay, more of that sal hepatica. It's a laxative <laughs> and uh, antacid. Hair tonic. Ooh, look at that hair. Um, let's see. The shape of women. Okay. Interesting. The average U.S. female is not only short at 5 foot 3, but chunky at 133 pounds. I'm sorry. That is not chunky. That is not chunky. 5 foot 3 and 133 Um, gingivitis, fabrics that they used in uniforms. Okay, here it is, more of this. You know, these magazines with body image. The average American woman looks like the girl on the right rather than the glamour girl on the left. Good grief. I'm sorry. I think the girl on the right looks good. Okay, stockings. <laughs> Straightening your seams in the back. This boy probably had mumps. I think it's a boy, I can't tell. Yeah. And this is what they would do when you had mumps. I remember I had mumps. And you can get your whiskers too. Nice close shape. Okay, Florida, some pictures of Florida. This is all about 
war, which we're not going to focus on. don't want to. Joan Fontaine gazes with quiet pride at the gold Oscar she won for her best acting in the movie Suspicion. Okay, for a fresh start, take an ivory bath. That used to be the only soap we ever used was ivory soap. Um, suppose an old lady talks for a change. Hey, here I am. Her subject is beer and the men in the home. When a husband comes home from his day's work, he deserves peace and understanding and complete sympathy. <laughs> Tiring as a wife's chores may have been, they do not hold a candle to the vexations and worries of the average man's daily work. A good wife, if she is really worth her salt, will do all in her power to give her husband the quiet contentment of a peaceful fireside. Okay, so give him some peace and a beer. You know, I'm all about someone coming home to a peaceful environment, but that doesn't mean they work harder than you or deserve more than you. Okay, French is mustard. Carnation, unsweetened, evaporated milk. Oh, interesting. For bottle feedings and afterwards, you can't find a safer, more nourishing, and more digestible food than carnation milk enriched with sunshine vitamin D. You know, for a while that was what was promoted, not breastfeeding, but, you know, bottle feeding. Oh, look at these schnazzy shoes. Robley Defenders. Balloons that they use. Artillerymen. Hmm. Okay, teacher's Highland Cream Scotch Whiskey. Oh, interesting artwork. Winter in Maine. Do we, any of you live in Maine? I've heard your winters can be pretty brutal. Look at all these potatoes, stored potatoes. Aww. Self-sufficiency was of high importance in, you know, cold areas of the world, not just Maine. Ingram's shaving cream. Xlax, <laughs> the chocolate laxative. Oh, look at the record player, Victrola, the RCA Victrola. That looks like a comfortable chair. Okay, headache and neuralgia medicine. I wonder what the quick acting BC is. Hmm, doesn't say. Hmm, clogged nose, Vix Vatronol. Vatronol, hmm, Vix. And then wedding rings or diamond engagement rings and wedding bands. Light bulbs. Jairus for itchy scalp. Domino cigarettes. Oh, 
Oh, French's Worcestershire sauce. Mm, wow. Yeah, shoes. Dog food. Eye drops. Ooh. Try this sun sweet pie. It's made with apricots, or as my dad said, apricots, and prunes. Okay. They have extra flavor and extra goodness. My dad used to say that there were two cures for everything. If prune juice didn't cure your, what ails you, then it would be buttermilk. <laughs> Fleischmann's yeast for, you know, this is nutritional yeast. I, you know, take two cakes daily. Oh, wow. Carol Lombard, whiskey, shaving cream, or a tonic, Schlitz, the beer that made Mount Milwaukee famous. Schlitz malt liquor. Palm olive soap. Oh, cute little baby. Okay, rum. Rings. Cough drops. Bras. And aqua velva. Oh, interesting. Russian questions and questions about Stalin. Hmm. Are you you are you losing your youth and vitality? Millions of men and women go through life feeling half dead. Hmm, unbalanced diet, I like that. Lacking in vitamin C. Interesting. So this is Florida's grapefruit juice in cans to make, uh, to add to your vitamin C intake. Aunt Jemima pancakes. Stockings. Oh, Baby Ruth candy. Bars rich in dextrose. I'm sorry, that's just a sugar. Anything ending in R O R O S E, sucrose, glucose, dextrose, it's a sugar. Oh, an orchestra's tour. That's interesting. A tour of an orchestra. Oh, good God. Okay. Easy serve liver loaf. A favorite on the Pan American Clippers. Oh. Liver loaf. Okay. Lipstick. Louis Philippe. Cream of Kentucky. <laughs> Bourbon. And. Mm -hmm. Rules for pet care during an air raid. Oh, pipe tobacco. Texaco. Car oil. So interesting. Toilet bowl cleanser. Santa flush. I remember that. Uh, hyena. Okay. Perspiration is acid and it rots stockings. So ivory snow. 
And then the final page is, ah, real silk stockings. Okay. Okay, so this one in September of 1951, it has gone up, doubled to 20 cents. And it's much thicker. So, we have nylons. Now, this is in worse shape. So, 1951, we're six years or so past the war. So times are definitely changing, and I'm going to turn from down in the lower right-hand corner so I can support this magazine. Okay, so telephones. Bell, ma bell. Okay. Washers and dryers. Uh, baby oil, baby powder, and baby creams. Oh, the dishwasher, GE dishwasher. <laughs> Streamline your thigh line with the new and improved silhouette. Sport tights and dress tights. Girdles. Oh, I like this. You're only as old as you sleep. Wake up looking younger, feeling younger, and acting younger. And this is air foam um, mattress. Fatima cigarettes. <laughs> Fatimas, I've never heard of that. Have you? Televisions, Philco televisions. A and P coffee. I've never. I don't think I've heard of that. Hmm. Interesting. A scale. Uh, because you know, it's time to start watching your weight, according to magazines. Look at this washing machine. Uh, more of that pep cereal. Bromo seltzer for a headache. Interesting. Borden's instant coffee. Magnavox TVs. These were very common, um, you know, so what, this is 1951, but these were common throughout the 50s and 60s. Vitalis, again, hair cream. A lot more ads. Child meeting baby brother. Okay, pineapple from Libby's. Talcum for men. Talcum aftershave. Oh, FTD florals. Wow. Clocks, electric clocks. Okay. The suspension of an indicted police captain is put on hold for a Miss America pageant. Uh, chicken gumbo from New Orleans in Campbell's Chicken Soup. Wow, look at this two-page spread. It makes me want pancakes. And I love this pictorial article, this um, 
sky. Sarece Kama was forced from his tribal throne for marrying a white girl in 1950. Oh, wow. So he was exiled from his native land and they moved to England in London. So there they are with their little baby. And I love that there's no judgment in this. And this is 1951. Uh, my only judgment is he's smoking a cigarette right next to his little baby's face. But then so did my dad. So. Uh, the Pelican's final cruise, 61 people aboard, and it capsized, <gasps> losing 42. Coca-Cola, delicious and wholesome. Wholesome. Coca-Cola is wholesome. And this bed is very much like today's Tempur-Pedic beds. Interesting, made with the foam from Firestone Company. You know, the tire company? And look at these shoes. I love these shoes. I would wear any one of those. Those are so cute. I have some very similar to these, actually. A floor polisher and scrubber. New York Central train. Oh, soapbox derby. Oh my goodness, these used to be so popular and maybe they still are. I remember one of our sons entered a soapbox derby and they had to carve them out and everything. And yeah, that was so cool. Aftershave, because when you have aftershave, girls just sit all over your lap. It wows the ladies. Brock's mint chocolate covered with bittersweet coating. Hmm. Oh my goodness, here we go. Past, this is the beginning of this. Pasteurized um, sliced cheese. And I think I saw something like on TikTok or something where they tried to burn it and it doesn't burn because it's mostly plastic. Ooh, stockings. Wow. So. Oh, a promising new era begins for television, coast-to-coast -coast hookups. Wow. Yeah, if you were in some of these rural places, you did not have TV. And this is when that radio impulses with line of sight kind of started relay stations. Comfortable shoes. Yeah. Toilet paper. Uh huh. Washing machine. Non fat dry milk. You know, I remember in the 60s, my mom tried to pass some of that off on us, and whoa, it was awful. I think she always kept some kind of a just in case we ran out of milk. Oh, look at, these are called the bullet bras, I think they were. Look at that. How would you like to hug that? <laughs> oh, little puppy saved from the sewer. That's so cool. Whiskey. I love stories like this, rescue stories. Mmm. Twice as many people fly Douglas as all other airplanes combined. I see you, Leo. You want to come in?
Elgin watch. Oh my gosh, hold on. There it is. Okay, guys, guys, look. Elgin watch. I still have this from outside our vault in this crystal case. <laughs> The watch with the heart that never breaks. Look at that. Wow, I am just so... Let's see, we'll just put that right there. Precious. Next to my wedding ring. Mmm, pretty skirts. Okay. Bovril, Bovril. I think we still have that. Like a dehydrated bouillon. Okay, Kleinert's hair nets. Um, I worked in, where was it? At the school cafeteria for a while and I had to wear a hair net. And then look at the girdles and the panties. Oh, so cute. Ooh. Stockings. And look at this. These seams that come down to this make your legs and your ankles look slimmer. Okay. Now. Carter's Triggs for comfort because showing boys going out hunting in their underwear is what sells. McGregor sport shirt and collar with a collar. Shoes. Motor oil. <laughs> Bourbon whiskey. General Electric, the only vacuum cleaner in the world to bring you reach easy cleaning. Look at that. So you put it in the center and you can vacuum your whole living room. Oh, oh these, these are all cute. I would wear these shoes. We're not going to talk about war. Alligator rainwear. Super. Wall paint. Oh, look at this. That is so classic. Hmm. Paint. That is developed by Shell, Shell Oil Company. Try Ovaltine for better sleep without drugs. Hmm. Letterettes, cards. Articles about color. Huh. A physics lesson. And, oh, so a Pullman train. Um, how you can sleep on a Pullman train. I think that's so cool. I haven't done that. My husband has. He went, where did he go? He went up to Seattle to um, 
visit family up there and I couldn't make it. So he took a train and met them. Look at that cool vacuum and the upright vacuum. Motor oil. Shoe polish and <laughs> ankle fashioned Oxford's Nun Bush shoes. And another car battery. Ooh. What a pretty dress. Pepsi. Okay, so we've got Pepsi and Coca-Cola in the same magazine. Okay, photography, gin, <laughs> gas, whiskey, oil filters, hmm, pretty suit made of, hmm, worn by Myron. Let's see. Courier cloth. Interesting. A yarn dye sheen worsted with the strength of shark skin, the luster of gabardine, and the suppleness of flanner. flannel. 100% virgin wool. Handsomely tailored, that is. Oh, naturalizer. And they still have naturalizers even today. I love these shoes. Oh, these are all so pretty. These cars, oh my gosh, those are so cool. How to put away clutter for kids. Lifelong problem. Ooh, a dapper hat. Look at these. Wow. Honey pod sugar peas. And, ooh, nice slacks. I love these old slacks. You know, the old look. I think that's so cool. I wish men dressed like that again, like in the 40s and 50s. And a pen. Wow. I'm going to try to speed up a little bit here. Westinghouse food mixer, bufferin aspirin. Uh, it doesn't upset the stomach because it's buffered, but acts twice as fast as aspirin. Mm, almond roca. I love almond roca. Interesting. Invest in the state of Israel bonds. Huh. American Financial and Development Corporation for Israel. And again, this was 1951. More hats. <laughs> chorus girls. The life of a chorus girl. The hundredth birthday of the old gray lady, which was the building, um, the lady occupies a building that takes a good part of the block between 43rd and 44th streets in Manhattan, Times Square. Whiskey. Juji fruits. Mmm. Toasters. See, stuff is starting to really advance. Mixer. You know, make life easier for people. Look at these pretty lighters. Wow, two page spread for lighters. Kiwi boot polish. My husband still uses this His shoe polish. Fabrics, milk of magnesia, bourbon. Okay, volatine. Mm. So, volatility and octane are scientifically balanced. So, 
Tex Texaco for your guests. Oh, I love all these old ads. Bobby Brooks, that's a cute blouse. And, oh, toothbrushes. Huh, interesting. Okay, the mark of a man joining the U.S. Army. Movado, Movado uh, watches. Wow. And what is this? Medal of Honor recipient. And oh, and this is all about the African Queen with uh, Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn. Look at on set. Wow. Hmm. Serve California's fine burgundy with spaghetti and meatballs. Wine adds to gracious hospitality in American millions of American homes. Hmm. I wonder who doesn't say who, what company? Interesting. And these are all the pictures from the African Queen from being on set. Okay. Gotta be so careful. It's starting to fall apart. Singer Sewing Centers. And then Canadian Club Whiskey. And the last page is Chesterfield Cigarettes. And then the last one, which is 40 cents. Here is the last magazine. It's a Life magazine from May 23rd, 1969. These two are from uh, the comedy called Laugh-In. Okay. In, uh, look at these air conditioning units that go in the windows. And then the next ad is traveler's checks because those were really popular for when people traveled. Credit cards weren't as common as they are today. They were actually quite rare. So uh, traveler's checks were a safe way to bring money to foreign countries. And this is the Toyota Corona. Cars were starting to shrink a little bit. It wasn't long um, after this, 1969, a few years later that we had that, you know, oil embargo and people were lining up for gas and you had to get gas on even or odd days on the last number of your license plate. So. Okay, something about President Nixon, and then we go into Canadian um, <laughs> uh, Seagram's VO, Canadian Whiskey. Okay, Instamatic Polaroid cameras, oh my gosh, they were so fantastic, and uh, so this is all pol Polaroid. Ford Cortina. Wow. And look at this. $1,849. And all these things are included with it. Sears catalog, you could pretty much order anything. 
Look at this huge camping tent. So, Sears Sports Center. And Old Spice. Interesting. I don't know what Lily is, but um, for four generations we've been making medicines as if people's lives depended on them. And a little boy sitting all alone. I don't know what that's about. Interesting. In the late 60s and throughout the 70s, paneled walls were so popular, and that's what this is. Plywood or wood paneling in your home. Okay, I'd probably never be married now if I hadn't lost 49 pounds. Good grief. 49 pounds. And then it gives her... Um, after years of being wrapped in 150 pounds of fat, I was slim and free. I'm five foot two and a half. I weigh 101 now, down from 150 pounds. Oh. Anyway, so it begins, right? So it begins. Air conditioning units, carrier. That's still a brand that is... Um, in production today. Portable transistor uh, radios. United Airlines front fly the friendly skies of United. And again, more traveler's checks. And then white owl cigars. Cookware. Moving company companies. Now this is beacons. And you know from the 50s and 60s and beyond, there are a lot of jobs coming and people are moving cross country. And it's really the first time, they, you know, moving companies became popular. A warning to people who make obscene phone calls. Ooh. What they're saying is they can trace you. It's as good as getting your fingerprint. No matter how good you are at disguising it. A warning to great callers. Steamed hot dog and foaming stein. Don't know it. Remington, portable, electric razor, and of course, bourbon whiskey, and <laughs> mattresses, the Simmons mattress, look at this. Letters to the editor. GMAC financing. I think we financed a car in the 70s through GMAC, General Motors Acceptance Corporation. And these are all, okay. Underground descent newsletters and newspapers and anti-government, anti-war, all those, you know, protest um, newsletters. And this is um, 
kind of celebrating the NAACP going out and getting um, people to register for the vote, the black population. So, and it's showing them lining up to vote. You know, something we just take for granted. We just take that for granted. Okay. It's kind of falling apart here. McCarty Run. Oh. oh, look at this. Look at the, the writing. Totally mod. Um, you know. And then the avocado green appliances. Now this is the washing machine, and of course you can get the matching dryer. $229. Wow. And so that was, is this the same? Let's see. Frigidaire. Yes, Frigidaire. This is a big Frigidaire. Add and portable dishwasher and stove. Hmm. Talking about the saints. Saint Christopher, patron saint of voyagers. Saint Barbara, the patroness of firemen. Saint Lucy, uh, Saint Susanna, Saint Catherine of Alexandria. Huh. The patroness of philosophers and French girls. St. Valentine, of course, St. Nicholas, St. George, St. Vitus, and St. Patrick, of course. Mm. Racing Ferraris. Oh my goodness. That's a horrible accident, but this guy walked away from it. Electric clocks, those were you know, kind of a cool, groovy thing to have in your house. And of course, the Paul Mall cigarette and the thermos stainless steel vacuum bottle out. So remember our brand, Thermos. It's worth it. And then this is just an article about um, Rowan and Martin and uh,
teachers, there are two kinds of racial crisis. Hmm. And that talks about how it's hard to get the necessary educational materials to discuss these issues in the classroom. So, these are things from Life magazine that you can, that teachers could order. Okay, so this is Jim Brown, and he's a basket, a uh, fullback, so a uh, football player. Hmm, looks comfortable. That's nice. And here he is playing basketball in his own driveway court. Here's a great ad that we don't see much, I don't think. If you don't talk to your kids about drugs, this man will. Good message. Oh my goodness, and then the refrigerators, look at the colors. The, the brown, the harvest gold, the avocado green, oh my goodness. We had white, and then maybe a gold one. I can't remember growing up. I think we had a gold one. Ford. Shrink hemorrhoids. Preparation H. Okay, and again, another uh, comparison on air conditioner units. So that was really becoming important in homes. People didn't have air conditioning really in the 50s. Um, in the 60s, it became more popular, 60s and 70s, I would say. These are mirrors to catch the sun's rays and reflect them into the main mirror. And hmm, so we're starting to get into solar. So, yeah, this is the French Pyrenees back here. Pool chlorination. <laughs> State farm insurance. Arthritis, me, bear, aspirin. Cars built to do 175 miles an hour need all the protection they can get from a motor board. So this is Shell. Golf and Volkswagen. Well, what did you think? Tell me what your favorite ad was, or picture, or whatever. I hope you enjoyed that. I did, and I always do with these. I appreciate you. I appreciate your lovely comments, and I know I tell you that, but I don't think I'll ever stop telling you how much they mean to me. 
I wish you so much wellness, uh, so much love, so much health, and just peace and harmony in your life. Look for it. It's there. Even in the hard times, it's there all around you. Love is all around you. And I hope you can find it, see it, and revel in it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.